In this second presentation, I will highlight the KMMS Summit of Assessment Overview for Invigilated Exams specifically across the program. There are other Summit of Assessments in our, in our program, but these are less stressful since they haven't got that invigilation aspect. So this, this assessment, uh, these assessments are managed throughout the program, um, but I will highlight the invigilated ones today. Um, there are some of the acronyms that you'll hear as also discussed in the previous presentation. The black triangle indicates formative elements or assessments and the, the circle, black circle, summative assessments. And there are the uh, particular uh, indicators for the AKTs, as you can see, as well as for the OSCE. In year one, the GP placement uh, module ends at the end of the year with an AKT, um, a small AKT, where the students write that's part of the module's assessment. Then in the skills for clinical practice, clinical skills module, the students have a formative OSCE, uh, four stations at this stage in April of the year to really demystify the OSCE for them, and it's done as a real copy of how the proper one in the end of the year will work, the summative one, to, to make the students aware of all aspects of the OSCE and give them a real feel for it. And that is where the OSCE is located at the end of the year, the summative OSCE for year one in the July end of year period. Then when we come to the three system-based modules, uh, foundations for heart and disease, heart, lungs and blood, nutrition, metabolism and excretion, each of those have a mid module mock AKT called the module tutorial test where the students get exposure to the questions they can expect the similar types of questions at the end of the module and you can see then the end of the module is where they have the um, end of module AKT indicated by the black circle that's the same for heart lungs and blood and nutrition metabolism and excretion so three end of year end of module AKTs delivered throughout year one and if any student needs a reset because they were unsuccessful at the end of a module then those are available at the end of the academic year. Year two has a very similar structure with the AKT at the end of primary care in practice two, the GP module there. Then there's also a formative learning event for the OSCE in year two, but it's not a formative OSCE uh, like in year one. It's a different event because the students already had OSCE experience and then they have their summative OSCE at the end of the year indicated there by the yellow circle. And then the system-based modules again have their mock AKT during the module and the summative end of module AKT at the end. And if any student is unsuccessful in any of those, then there are for each of them a reset opportunity at the end of the academic year. Moving on to year three, um, the students go through their clinical placements out in practice and they have a, a sort of a, an AKT, a mock AKT in May of the year to prepare them for the end of, mod, end of year summative AKT, which is sequentially tested uh, and it's part of the Integrated Practice 1 module. And they also have a formative OSCE webinar for their summative sequentially tested OSCE in the I Integrated Practice 1 module. So those are the two big summative assessments at the end of the year in year three, the IP1 AKT and OSCE both are sequentially tested. Year four, very similar. Uh, there's a in May of the year, there's the formative AKT and then there's the summative AKT at the end of the year in integrated practice two. Same with the OSCE webinar formative for the summative end of year uh, for OSCE in the integrated practice two module. So very similar structure between year three and year four. Then as the students move on to final year, you can see that they have their senior rotations and, and then their finals module. The finals module consists of all the final assessments and there they are. It's the MLA, Medical Licensing Assessment of the GMC's AKT, which is, as I explained in the previous presentation, set by the Medical Schools Council, but regulated by the GMC. And then the students also have their CPSA OSCE and the PSA, the Prescribing Safety Assessment. 
The PSA is administered first and sort of in the end of January usually, um, which is still part of the senior rotations uh, module in that time frame. And then they have their webinar to prepare them for the OSCE, the students. And then the MLA AKT is written just after senior rotations in March, beginning of March usually. And then the CPSA OSCE is delivered end of April, beginning of May in the year and is the last major assessment for the students in the finals module. If any student requires a reset of the MLA AKT that is available because it was a single set exam, as I explained in the previous presentation, or the PSA that's also available during the year uh, because it's a single set exam. The OSCE is sequentially tested and therefore no reset available there. Thank you very much.